the reason why we don't do what we know we have to do is because we tell ourselves other things. And it's been conditioned in our brain since we were little. Therefore, we don't actually notice it. It's kind of like who we are. You have to train your brain, like if you were training your muscles to think differently, and you gotta do it every day, every day, every hour. It's like the devil and the angel on your shoulder. When people think of that, it's not the devil and the angel both speaking at the same time. It's the devil speaking first. And most of us listen to the devil, but we never ask the angel the question. We just listen to the devil and that's why we procrastinate. You gotta stop and notice your thought pattern. Whatever you're thinking about in the morning, there's a thought pattern. It goes one, two, three, four. And then the fourth one could be, oh, I don't wanna get up, I wanna sleep in. Or maybe it's the second one or the third one. You just gotta be conscious of every thought that comes into your brain. So first it's awareness. And then you gotta justify why you should get up. You gotta rationalize and logically think through what's the benefit of getting up right now. For example, when you start dating someone, and you're a guy, it's a girl, and she's pretty, she's nice, she might be a little dumb, whatever. Just, there might be some red flags, but you choose to ignore them because you're looking at all the positive. You gotta do that with your thoughts. When you're thinking these negative thought patterns, you gotta switch it over to the positive thought patterns. So you have to justify, look at the green flags of why it's a good idea to get up in the morning. So it could be, for example, I'm just giving you an example so you can understand. So for example, if I get up, I can listen to my favorite podcast. If I get up, I can get the work done that's gonna help me live a better life. You have to justify why you should get up. So it, it's, it's, it's all consciously. In the beginning though, eventually you're gonna develop a brain and train your brain to think like this automatically. After you have justified and rationalized why you should get up in the morning, now you have to create a plan. All right, if, when I do get up, what am I gonna do in the morning? What's the first thing I'm gonna do? Brush my teeth. Oh, but I don't wanna brush my teeth. That might actually be holding you back from getting up. Just the fact that you're thinking about the negative stuff. What about, what if you had a TV in your bathroom? Or now you're like, oh shit, I can go watch a little bit of TV while I'm brushing my teeth. It's gonna push you out, of, it's, you're gonna jump out of bed because you're like, holy shit. So you gotta rationalize and plan. So for example, like me this morning, I didn't want to get up. So I rationalized. If I get up, I can listen to this person I, I, I'm influenced by, that I really look up to. That motivated me to get up. I had to rationalize, plan, visualize. I had to visualize myself actually doing, like brushing my teeth. And then you execute. And sometimes the execute part is the hardest part because you actually have to get up and do it, right? So how do you get yourself to get up and do it? There's an app where you can watch YouTube videos from your Apple Watch. So what I did this morning is I went on the app and I watched this YouTube video. First 10 seconds, I already gained a new insight from this guy I was watching, like a light bulb went on and it just gave me the energy I needed. So I got up, I brushed my teeth, I was listening to it, I got so much done. I've now escaped procrastination. If you just train your brain to do this every day, every day, you're gonna become a micromanager. You're gonna be so good at managing your life and not procrastinating, not putting it off. It's gonna help you tremendously. I hope this helps.